Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 4 of my Copper State Models 132nd Cauldron G3. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, we'll be working on the wire routing for the wireless. Drilling a few holes, threading wire and also painting a silver thing on the firewall. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. And there we have it, the wireless, battery, gauges and morse key all fitted and wired up. And even if I say so myself, it looked pretty damn good. Very chuffed with how it's come out. Now for some painting. We'll be doing the metal straps on the cabane strut with the aerial spool. So here we go with that. There we go, that's the parts for the cabane and spool painted, which we painted in silver. Well, aluminium, Vallejo Metallics 71062 aluminium, to be precise. Anyway, 
Now for some more parts in the cockpit that need that colour. So let's get those sorted, shall we? There we have all those parts painted. Uh, I forgot a part that needed gluing into the wireless box itself. Well, it's not a part, it's a cable or a little bit of wire, depending on your view. So let's crack on and get that fixed up, shall we? After much cursing, wailing, gnashing of teeth and re-drilling holes, the wiring and wireless are finally fixed in place. And boy does it look good. Now to paint the seat. So here we go with that. There we have both seats painted. I did the usual and used Vallejo wood grain 70.828. Now for some Tamiya Sky Blue X14 on the connectors on the seat. So come on, let's get this done, shall we? That's those four parts painted. Next up, a bit of brassage touch up around the place. That's all the brassage touched up. Next up, the seat belts. I'm using Vallejo 70.867 Sand Brown. So let's crack on with that, shall we? There we go, that is the belt all painted. So let's pop those to one side to dry. Now for a cockpit part. I am not sure what the hell it is, but it needs cleaning up to begin with. So let's get that sorted, shall we? There we have it cleaned up and it's a brass colour. Uh, oh yeah, I've just remembered, it's fuel gauge. So let's get that painted brass, shall we? That's the fuel gas body painted brass. Next up, 
We try to figure out the position of where to put the cabane with the aerial reel on. Oh, this is going to come back and haunt me. Bit of foreshadowing there, folks. There we go, that's the cabane glued to the fuselage. Not necessarily in the right place, but certainly glued. Now for a bit of the hairy stick. We're painting the buckles on the seat belts using Vallejo Metallic 71.062 Aluminium. There we have the buckles painted aluminium. Now to fit them to the cockpit floor. That's the wireless operator seat fitted. So whilst that dries, we have the piping work on the fuel gauge to paint. We're using Vallejo Metallic 71.063 copper. So let's crack on with that. There we have the piping for the fuel gauge painted. Now it's time for some building. We're test fitting then building the cockpit floor to the side. So here we go with that. That's one side glued on. Now to thread the cabling. Cabling and a bit of touch up done on that. Now it's time for the second side, so let's crack on with that one, shall we? There we have both halves of the cockpit fitted together with the cables threaded through the correct holes. 
Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you very much for watching episode 4. If you want to see what happens in episode 5, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. Thank you.